In this video, I'm going to show you how to add social share icons to your blog posts in Elementor. This is something that I get asked pretty often because people want to know how do I add those links where people can share my posts on Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, etc. This is something that's very easy to do. You don't need to install any additional plugins. It is built in to Elementor. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. What I have opened is a single post template. I made a video recently on how to create these single post templates. So if you're interested in learning about that, definitely check that video out. But we need to add our social share icons to this template so that they show up on every post. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom because that's where I want my social share icons to show up after the text. So I'm just going to click in here and then I'm going to go to my widgets and start typing in social. And you can see that a few icons pop up. We're going to select share buttons and drag that over. And you can see that it's already added Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn as my share buttons. So this would share on Facebook, this on Twitter, and this on LinkedIn. We can add a few more as well. We can hit add item and you can see another one will come up and you just select whatever network that you want to share it to. So I'm gonna hit Pinterest and you can see it even changes the color to their branding. So pretty cool. Now we do have the option to change the look of this a little bit. The view, right now it's set to icon and text, but we can just do icon and it will just show the icon. And if we do text, it will just show the text. So a couple options for that, um, depending on what you want your icons to look like, feel free to play around with those. Uh, there's also options to uh, change the skin color. So we can change it from gradient to minimal, we can change it to framed, boxed icon, or we can go just flat color. So a couple options there as well. We also have options to change the shape. So rounded or circle, and you can see how that changes in real time. So feel free to play around with all of these settings. Uh, in here, there's a couple more options available. I'm not gonna get into every single thing, uh, but I do wanna talk about the fact that we do have the option to completely change the color if we want to make it branded to our website. By going to style, you have the option to do that. So we have some options for like the columns gap, the rows gap, the button size, icon size, and button height. So feel free to play around with those to really customize it. But under color, if you change this from official to custom, then you can change the colors to whatever you want. And you can do it on normal and hover. So if I change this primary color to black, you see how that changes. If I change the secondary color to like a light gray, you can see how that changes the text and the icon. So feel free to play around with those as well on normal and again on hover, you have the option to change what it looks like when you hover over it. Now, once you have your icons in place, all you have to do is update your template and you will see that on your blog post, it will now have the social icons. I've just clicked on one of the posts that I've created on this demo site and you can see down at the bottom, we have our social icons showing up. So it's very easy to add these social icons to your blogs in Elementor. No need to install any additional plugins to get this to work. I hope that you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.